We turned it around last season. I think the team got comfortable with the coaching staff. We had a couple of new coaches on staff. And the most important part was how the student athletes handled themselves, uh, faced a lot of adversity, and didn't let that get them down. And that goes to the leadership of the upperclassmen. And certainly, we became a more mature team. Winning against Western Connecticut was huge. I think that really carried into the off season, you know, with our work ethic and you know, kids taking it to the gym because we haven't beaten West Con in a while. And I think that to carry into the off season was huge to carry that momentum into this season and you know how we go against Nichols in a couple of weeks. I've been able to take a lot of momentum into the preseason, but it really doesn't matter what I do. It matters what the student athletes do. And I'm so happy to say because of that senior leadership, we have 17 seniors on the team and a couple of five-year players. Uh, they're mature enough to understand the length of the, uh, the off season, and it's their responsibility to motivate each other to do what they need to do. And they've done that to, uh, to a great degree. Positive energy, staying focused, everybody keeping uh, tempo up. Uh, just energy, up energy. Trayvon is from Hartford, Connecticut, and uh, he came to us as a freshman, worked really hard in the weight room, uh, has uh, demonstrated repeatedly skills on the football field that amaze the coaching staff at all times. Uh, great young man, works hard in the classroom, and sets a great example. A team player, he doesn't care about his personal accolades. Team goals is always to improve every day, to get as best we can to represent the university, represent ourselves in everything we do. Uh, certainly everybody at this top point of the season is 0-0 looking forward to uh, facing the next opponent. We are not trying to be an even uh, 500 team. We don't want to go 3-7 and seven again. We're looking to go 10-0. and out. To get from where we are to where we want to be, we got to be able to finish. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, we competed with some of the top teams in the league, Framingham, um, you know, Westcon, obviously Plymouth, we were right there and I think the the ability to be able to finish the drive, finish the series, finish the play is going to be able to get us from where we are to where we want to be. Conference championship, thats I think that's on everybody's mind. We all definitely want to get a ring this year and uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to. We just got to keep playing to our potential and we can all get there. We have a lot of three-year stars. So we have a lot of camaraderie because we've all been playing together for a while. We communicate very well. That's definitely going to play a role in the season. Our linebackers are all fifth years, so being able to bring in that experience definitely helps us a lot come game time. Honestly, coming in every preseason, seeing some of the same guys, seeing some new guys, getting together with everybody, always having that solid group of support. Just playing a game I love and having great coaches, teammates. You always know you have someone there for you, and you always know you have someone that has your back. So just that, you know, that family atmosphere definitely makes Westfield stand out. I'm very fortunate here at Westfield State. The student athletes that we have uh, have aspirations to do great in society and further their education. We have five uh, five-year players, uh, two graduate students. Uh, one of our student athletes is uh, top of this class in two different disciplines. And that atmosphere or that attitude has been carried over to the football field. We feel that you can be a great student athlete, you can be a great football player, and you can be great in the community.